Hello everyone, this is Moses from Wilderness Cave, and I'm going to be showing you a new document that I have uploaded onto my uh, Patreon page. Currently it's about almost 200 pages, 199 pages, uh, D and it's going to be a series of these for my Patreon members, where I'm going to be creating more of them. Right now this is the fantasy setting, I'm going to do sci-fi, western, horror, etc. These are tables that I'm currently working on, but tables that I've created long ago and I'm, I'm still creating and I'm going to be using them in my own on this channel so when I'm playing games my solo series like Warhammer and etc I'm going to be using these tables if I have to roll on any tables so I could show it uh, being used while I'm playing so give examples so these but a um, little backstory the reason why they're not d100 there's a lot of random tables out there that are d100 d100 is extremely difficult to fill up and if you're reading, if you can see my mouse, of course, uh, the total amount of D20 random fantasy tables, let me just highlight it, is 300 currently. I think it's like 301 or 299 as of this date. That's how many D20 tables I have created for fantasy. So if you've been noticing or subscribe for a while, you've been noticing I've been producing less videos of like Hackles Whale and Warhammer. And that hurt, not hurts me, but I feel like I'm betraying Patreon members that are funding me. But the, the reason is for these type of things. So uh, just like yesterday, I posted a video on um, how I take inspiration from Morrowind for character creation. I'll link it up right now so you can see that. I think my daughter woke up. But regardless, I got to go. I got things to do. Either I film and have background noise a little bit or I don't film at all. Which one do you want? <laughs> so anyways, I'll go through it really quick. So you could, you probably already read what this is already. So I'll just show you a few things and I might, and she's calling me. Okay. I'm back. So before I go further, the table of contents is a work in progress. Cause I'm still adding to this, this document. And I don't want to even write the, like, I'll show you like all of them are page one. <laughs> Cause I'm going to be making a lot of uh, corrections and adding a lot of stuff. So we start with book titles that's normally you get a lot of that so I'll scroll through so you can see some things I'll scroll pretty quickly because there's a lot then there's critical role tables so I can't go through all these because this is a huge document but I'll just show you some stuff so critical fails for crafting critical successes for crafting etc etc thievery then I have dungeon rooms I'm going to create another d20 uh, like I said this is gonna be a series of d20 random tables um, and hopefully they'll become a uh, print on demand options someday. And artwork wise, I don't, I don't have time to put artwork in this type of uh, document. I'm doing artwork for my um, uh, systems and I'll show some of those artwork pieces now. <clears throat> They're pencil artwork and then I photoshopped further to make them a little more realistic and a little more edgy. Uh, so items in the chapel and the dungeon, laboratory, treasury. So you, you, you guys know of, uh, you all know of uh, items and something. Okay. So then I'm like, okay, I got to get away from that. So then I went to encounters and jobs and rumors. And uh, there's going to be a lot more of this. Uh, jobs in the thieves guild. Rumors of the seaside tavern. Rumors in a mountain village. Rumors in desert oasis. Then foods, enchanted foods, dwarven delicacies, elven cuisine, orcish feasts. Uh, uh, Drakari is a, and I hope that's not trademarked. They're basically Dragonborn, but I don't want to use Dragonborn, of course. So um, I don't know if this is trademarked or um, what? You, what's the other word? Copyrighted? Copywritten? So regardless, right now it's Dr Drakari is the dragon, human dragon. So of my races, because this is in line with uh, Mystic Warriors. This is a D20 table. For that system now they're going to be separate books but this is in line with that so when i start playing my mystic warriors which is currently 144 pages i'm going to be using this ta these tables a lot especially for my solo rules of that system gnome snacks uh, small folk comfort foods mystical beverages celebratory dishes i had a lot of fun with this one uh, let's see items and things wizard library healer's hut druid's grove Etc. 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 et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. So items in a fairy ring. I wasn't too sure about this, uh, but I, I cannot, um, I can't overlook the popularity of the Fey realm. So there's going to be a lot more of this. And my, my wife and family love 
uh, fairy stuff and fae and all that stuff. So I do, I do a lot of artwork for that, and I'm going to be doing a lot more random tables for that. Topic, battlefield, pickpocketing, random items, pickpocketing unusual items. Then we have the names. I'll scroll through these. Uh, elemental names, demonic names, NPC characters, villainous plots, heroic deeds, sidekick quirks, merchant inventories, noble titles. I'm going to add a lot more random tables to this um, system. And like I said, dungeons will have its own book. Bandit group names, adventuring party names, etc., etc. Let's speed up. Uh, unique fantasy topics, magical artifacts, mystical creatures, spells and potions, ancient ruins. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry if you're all dizzy. I guess you could pause or rewind. Uh, creative fantasy setting, mysterious landmarks, unique NPC traits, unique uh, uncommon quests, mystical locations. Let's keep going until I see something unique and I'll just blurt it out. And I'll do an example too. Let's see. Um, exotic flora, magical weather phenomenon. Uh, let's see, hidden societies. Here we go. Let's say I roll a what? Sixteen. The storm wardens, controllers of the weather. Uh, number eleven, the enchanted gardens, masters of magical flora. So forbidden locations, cultural festivals. Uh, so let's say like uh, number twelve, festival of the golden leaf honors the changing seasons. You know, and then just roll on that and make something up. Like there's a festival coming up. There's a topic. Uh, you don't need a D one hundred. It's too. Uh, it, the more options, the better, I suppose. But as a creator, it'll kill me. I am. I can't do it. I can't do it. Maybe other people are, they hire help or something. I'm on my own. I can't think of more than 20 things. I could barely think of 20 things, everybody. Ancient ruins and their mysteries. Uh, let's see, like uh, number 20, the broken bridge, a passage to another world. A lot of these come from my mo the movies and books I've read over the years and notes I've taken. Now here, okay. Magical schools. Let's see where I'm at. See, I didn't write any pages, so I'm probably about a quarter way done finally here. Uh, magical schools and academies. Now, what you're seeing here is going to be the magical schools and academies in Mystic Warriors RPG, the, TP, uh, the, the RPG system I'm creating. I'm a huge, one of my favorite things to draw is uh, Hogwarts, Harry Potter, things like that. And I'll show some pictures of mine up on the screen here of my pencil artwork of a uh, Harry Potter stuff, but but these colleges that you see here, uh, Academy of Arcane Arts, uh, School of Elemental Mastery, uh, Enclave of Enchantment, Order of the Elemental, uh, uh, College of the Necromancy, et cetera, et cetera. There's 20 of them here. All these colleges are going to be in Mystic Warriors RPG and most likely will have a separate supplement. You should see the artwork I have well over the years. The artwork current and in the past that I've created for magical schools and academies. In my opinion, that is one of the funnest things to do um, in a, a, a system. Uh, and that's where, I don't know if I said it or not, that's where um, in Altdorf, in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, the solo series I'm doing, there is a huge college of magics out there where uh, hopefully we'll be getting to if they survive. Uh, Hayden and uh, Vigena, but I don't think there's a lot of, even that, like Winds of Magic for Warhammer, it doesn't say too much, or there's kids on brooms, and that's not even that amazing. I want to do an amazing supplement for Mystic Warriors where the art is, I'm not going to show anything yet of the art of this uh, part of the supplement. Uh, later on, I will, of course. But the art is amazing. My ideas for it are amazing. It's basically you are, uh, you know, young magic users and you're going to school. And it's going to be extremely eventful. I, I, I'm just, I'm extremely excited about it. I don't want to talk too much about it because I want to keep going. Or maybe just cut it off. I'm not even halfway done. My kids are all waking up now. Um, or slowly waking up. So regardless, I cannot wait for this. I can't wait for this. Uh, enchanted tools and their uses. Uh, let's say like um, number five, amulet of protection, wards off danger, etc. Legendary battles and their impact. Magical transportation. Uh, enchanted force features. Unique factions and their goals. 
cursed objects and their effects, etc., 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 etc. Celestial locations, haunted locations, ancient ruins. I'm all the way at the end. I skimmed through everything really quick so you can see how much there is. 199 pages. It is available and has been available for a while. In the paid tier on my Patreon page, if you want to uh, download this document and use it in your games, uh, like I said, it's, it is what it is. There's no page numbers, no table of contents, and light editing. Uh, just click the link below or in the comment section of the Patreon. It is in the paid tier. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to keep working on it. Like I said, if there's any artwork, it might just be the cover, and that's it. I don't want to spend too much time doing artwork on this um, on these D20 systems, legendary herbs, ritual herbs, aromatic herbs, culinary herbs, come on everybody, rare herbs, poisonous herbs, protective herbs, okay everybody, magical herbs, uh, healing herbs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, everybody, so like I said, it's in Patreon. I want to thank everybody that, uh, uh, that has given me super chats and, and all the Patreon members that have uh, continually funded me. This is what you get. This is what you're going to get. And I've been getting a lot of really nice comments. If I remember to, uh, to post it, I'll post some of the comments, you know, you know, erasing the names. I don't want to share the names because they, I don't want to be awkward or something like that. Look at this. Oh, and I have um, Stronghold stuff too. So hopefully you're still around. Let me know if you're still around. Put down a Stronghold in the comments if you're still around. So let's say, take a look at this. Uh, come on. Because I'm, I'm going to have strongholds as well for Mystic Warriors. Kingdoms, primary race, type of government, kingdom size, primary religion, military structure, businesses, unusual businesses, unique businesses, illegal businesses. Look, flesh sculptures, smugglers, black market enchanters, necromatic guilds, poison brewers, etc., etc. Kingdom tendencies, primary terrain, economy, culture aspects. Come on, everybody. Political climate, social structure. Why isn't more people doing stuff like this? Every time I bought something on Drive Through RPG, I've been disappointed with tables. Okay, this is probably because of was it 35 years now of solo RPG. Of course, when I was very young, I didn't do these type of things. Around high school, I started making uh, tables, but since high school, I started making tables. This is what it shows, you know, there's everybody just gives you a little bit of a sliver of something and that's it. Key landmarks, notable exports, architectural style, prominent figures, kingdom economy, notable festivals, major exports, major imports, defense structures, type of allies, type of enemies, social issues, magical elements, royal titles, title types of guilds, common laws, common threats, unique cultural practices. <laughs> yeah. I gotta swallow. Local superstitions, art, archi architectural wonders, significant historical events, famous landmarks, legendary heroes, common occupations, unique legal systems, educational institutions, transportation methods, common guilds. Uh, God, I'm getting tired. And organizations. I'm really into strongholds, everybody. Common criminal activities, unique flora, mystical phenomenon. Oh, that hurt my diaphragm. Look how much I put. Now imagine if I make my own supplement for, for kingdoms or strongholds. So, like I said, <laughs> well, hopefully you're here still. Um, maybe I'll put a timestamp saying kingdom so everybody doesn't leave too soon so they can see the kingdoms. So like I said, everything in Patreon. Uh, don't know anything much else to say. All right, everybody. Happy gaming. Bye.